Hi, today we are learning about the human digestive system. What is digestion? Digestion means the food which we are eating, it has to form into different energy levels. The food which we are eating, it has to churn, it has to become very soft tissue like that one. How it is becoming very soft material? In this one, here in human beings, there are four types of teeth are present. That is called the, generally we can call it as the ICPM. What is ICPM? Incisors, canons, premolars and molars. These are the four types of teeth arrangement is present. Once if we observe different types of animals, they do not have such a type of four types of teeth. Why this one? The development of organism or development of animal system depends upon the environmental conditions. What is environmental conditions? Availability of the temperature, availability of the food material, availability of the water source and everything. These all comes under the environmental conditions. Suppose for example, if we take birds, they do not have such a type of teeth because they pick either grains or worms. Suppose if we take herbivore animals, their arrangement teeth is very entirely different because they have to take only grass. Suppose if you take carnivore animals, they have to pierce the flesh of the other animal. So at that moment, for piercing that one, they required cannons. With that one, what happened? The flesh which is present to, to the attached to the bones and everything, they pierce, they pull that one. So such a type of arrangement is made. But here, ICPM, why man is having such a type of system? Man is called the omnivore. That means herbivore means they eat only the plant kingdom. Carnivore means they eat only the flesh of other animals. Omnivore means we are eating, human beings are eating both either animal flesh of the animal in the form of mutton or chicken or otherwise vegetarian like that. So this four type. In this one, first thing let us take the incisors. Incisors useful for cutting food. Cannons used for tearing the food, premolars and molars used for the grinding the food material. As we are taking different types of food material, first thing is the teeth is very important. As we are chewing the food, the tongue helps the food to shift the food from one side to another side. And apart from that one, just below the tongue, we have salivary glands. What is the main role of the salivary glands? Whenever we are taking any food or anything, at that moment, a part of the water-like substance which comes out of the mouth. What is the main role of the salivary? Here, as we are chewing the food, the food has to become very soft. As the food is becoming very soft, easily we can swallow the food. As we are swallowing the food, it enters into the stomach. So here, production of, production of the saliva is very important. So in the saliva, the major part is amylase. What is the main role of the amylase? That means for the production of the carbohydrates and everything, and the different types of enzymes which are present in that one, it has to maintain the chemical substances which equilibrium and everything. So that is why saliva while eating saliva production is very important. As we are chewing the food, as the tongue is shifting the food to different parts of that one, slowly it becomes very soft. As the food is becoming very soft, as we are swallowing that one, it enters into the oesophagus. How oesophagus? That means what is oesophagus? Oesophagus is connected to the mouth and the stomach. In between that one, the part of that one, the food which is traveling from the mouth to stomach is called the oesophagus. As we are taking food, lump of food which we are taking, and whenever the food is moving, the movement is called the peristaltic movement. That means as the snake moves, we can see how the snake is moving like that only little amount of the food it enters into the stomach this is the first stage where we are taking food and everything then afterwards whenever the food enters into the stomach there are different types of layers like that one which is present out of that one in the stomach hcl is very important what is that hcl that means while eating there are different types of microorganisms also enter in that one as the microorganisms enter in that one they kill the microorganisms apart from that one there are three types of muscle a hard cardiac muscle like that one which is present 
Sometimes what happened? The food may be churned very nicely. And sometimes without pieces and everything, without becoming soft like that only, we swallow the food. So the food has to become very chyme like that one. So at that moment, as these are different types of enzymes which are present in that one, there are three types of layers which are present in that one. The stomach always it moves by expand and contract such a system is present in that one after taking the food as the stomach is expanding and contracting the semicircular or circular the vertical which are hard muscles which is present in that one they make the food into very soft like that one the food completely becomes very paste like that one and here we can see a kind of wall like that one which we can call it as the pyloric sphincter what is the main role of that one here as the food becoming very soft it enters into the small intestine if remains food if the food is not becoming very soft or undigested food this sphincter will not allow into the small intestine the small intestine allows only the food which is becoming very soft the undigested food which is present in that one again it has to come out of the mouth only generally we can call it as the vomitings that vomitings and everything it is separate one we will learn later on but Whenever the soft food enters into the small intestine, the small intestine we know that one, it is 6 meters length. What is the role? Why it is 6 meters length? That means as we are taking food material and everything, out of that one we have to take carbohydrates, vitamins, proteins, these all the things are very important which we are taking. Now, suppose for example, if we take vitamins, the vitamins A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, E, K. And apart from that one, vitamin B, B1, B2, B3, B6, B12. So, because of these all the things which are required our body system, the small intestine is 6 meters length. Now, the important role is played by the small intestine. As the food, the becoming very soft and everything, as it enters into the small intestine, the small intestine absorbs the food materials very firmly. As it is absorbing the food material, immediately the blood, most of the blood vessels uh, supply the RBC towards the small intestine. As the food is becoming very soft and everything, as soon as it enters into the small intestine, the blood absorbs the food material and supply to all body system. And slowly, slowly as it is traveling through the 6 meters length of the small intestine, and afterwards it enters into the large intestine. The main role of the large intestine, it does not allow the any sort of carbohydrates, vitamins or whatever it may be. It allows only the water part. So, as it is moving into the large intestine, more amount of the water which is present in the food material, it absorbs. So, here the important thing is water part is absorbed by the large intestine. Whenever you are taking water, each small intestine does not allow that one, it is not absorbing only large intestine. So, that is why the whenever the people are getting constipation problem, at that moment what happens, the waste solid material which is present, it remains into the small intestine near the anus. And at that moment what happens, they are getting lot of problem. So, that is why here what the important thing is, to make this large intestine very healthy and condition, we have to take more amount of the water. So, for that one free bowl is necessary and it is important that morning and the night time we have to go for the free bowl. And whenever the bacterial infection is there, generally people they say diarrhea or dysentery or certain times what happened, the person may get loose motions, generally we can call. Why that one? That means as soon as the bacteria infection takes place, the large intestine loses its capacity or loses its function how to absorb the water. When it is not functioning properly, more amount of the water which is present in that one, it comes out. So, here another important thing is, whenever you are taking food, we have to take leafy vegetables. 
why we have to take leafy vegetables generally the grass and leafy vegetables digestion takes place very firmly in the herbivore animal then why we have to take that means the large intestine when it is present the food whenever it is passing through that one it will not digest very properly but it makes the food to move very slowly in the large intestine as it is moving very slowly in the large intestine more amount of the water is absorbed by the large intestine these are the process where the food which we are taking it is absorbed by the different parts that main important thing is stomach is not important one for absorption it is only making the food to become very chyme small intestine only carbohydrates proteins vitamins lipids and everything large intestine only for the water source this is one of the important factor which is taking place as the food digestion in our body system